Good morning. I'm just on my way down to help Liam roll some plastic out for the bales. I put my bag of junk on top of slug and now she's offended. So it's going to be a good day. What are you doing? I'm strapping the truck. Cool shit. What's up, ladies? Um, I actually fecal sampled these ewes on Tuesday. I'll put a bit of footage in from that here. Going along doing worm count samples, I've just done these crossbreds here, and then I'm doing a prime line um, padding too, just to get a general idea of how much we've got to drench. But I'll show you how we're doing it. Look at all this fresh shit. Okay, so now we've got the poop juice and we've put the poop juice in the slide, and now we look at it on here to see if we can't find any worms. I do need to use my torch, so soz. <laughs> Around these ewes, checking fences, checking, making sure they're all still in here, uh, checking the waters. Not that the dams are going to run out, but I don't know, might have a hole in them. Right, next paddock. Hang on, hang on. What's wrong with you, my dude? Dude, lay down. Lay down. We'll be back. So this boy here. Very unlucky, he's been fly struck twice now. That's the thing with the merinos, unfortunately. Uh, what are we gonna, how are we gonna do? I'm really wet and I don't want wet sheep on me. Why are you so wet? I don't understand how you're so wet. It hasn't rained in a couple like a week or so give you a look so this is the vibe here's the other side that's this is the other side it was just so thick and wet and matted it's fucking horrible probably the worst fly blown sheep i've ever done dude well i've done some horrible to fucking do ones so it's really an achievement on your behalf Come on, I need some clicks, babe. There's a little bit in there. Come on, please. Other side. All right, we need to go get some more clicks. Free to go. Come on, up you hop. Off you go. Like, look how matted that is. That's just fucking grot. Normally, I don't complain about the fly blown stank, but that one, <laughs> that one was ripe. Bobby, you can come back to the front seat now. I need a drink. That one was not good. Australian culture segment. There he goes, off into the trees. Okay, so this question comes in from Chip. He was asking, are there no predators that we have to control? In America, you've got your wolves, your bears, cougars, quite prevalent in California. And we have, just making sure none of these guys are fly blown as well, but these all look good. Short answer, not really, no. Nothing that'll take down a full grown cow, kind of. Where I am down south, we, our biggest predators are foxes and eagles. That's pretty much it. They will only go after lambs and ewes that are lambing or down. That's it. Foxes are a pest slash invasive species here. British bought them over when they came here because they wanted something to hunt along with rabbits. That was a really fucking bad decision on their behalf. But up north we have dingoes and wild dogs. Dogs are feral species. Dingoes are native. Dingoes are similar to dogs but they're not domesticated. They are known along with wild dog packs to bring down sheep. I assume a wild dog pack can bring down a cattle. I know there's people that are on stations that watch this, please, you know, 
let us know in the comments if wild dogs bring down full-size cows I imagine they could especially a sick one but down here it's only when sheep are vulnerable as to if they're going to get eaten by something he also had two other questions which I'll answer as well about the mask my hat um, it's it's just a hat it's just for some protection skin cancer is very dangerous here one in three people will get it that's why I wear the hat and about typo typo is typo come I'm here thank you what breed of dog is slug slug is a kelpie he asked about an Australian Shepherd an Australian Shepherd's not actually a breed that's bred here um, they're I think they're from the US or maybe the UK future Tara check fact check that it's a kelpie they I think they were bred here they are bred to work hard for long periods of time um, you've obviously got some duds that aren't good with farm work and they go be pets. Most farmers here will have kelpies over border collies because of the heat. Uh, border collies quit. It takes about 30 degrees for Typo to give up. A border collie gives up at about 25. And for that reason, that's why we have a slug, not a snail. Yeah, she's looking a bit... Typo, get your head in the car. She's looking a bit old with her white hairs coming through. They look grey. Eh. I don't know, leave your conclusions in the comments. All right, let's put some flyk in here. It's the same thing as click. Someone said in a comment that if you've got a full drum, pour like this because so it'll, um, or pour from the side, I think you said. Like, probably help if I take the fucking cap off. And you've got, you don't have the, the spilly thingy. Oh. I don't know how I feel about that with the top high rim. I suppose it would work for the this sort of drum pouring from the side. This one here's got a weird sort of thing. You can put that back on the floor. You have eye friends. There you go. Now you have head friend. These Marinios are looking fine. I've got to stop calling them Marinos. People think they're actually called Marinos. <laughs> they're Marinos, okay? Marino. Same with the uterus. Um, the ute. The, our utes are like US trucks. I think you call them pickup trucks. Here they're called utes, short for utility vehicle. They are not called uteruses. I call it a uterus because I like to amuse myself. I've just come up to this paddock. I've got a few escapees. This paddock here and this paddock here basically died off now. And we had an issue with that ram. Um, he has a bit of an attitude issue. And if you go too close to him when he's not wanting to walk, he'll do, is it that one? One of these dids. Spoke come here. I'm just gonna pop them into the paddock and I'm hoping he'll go with them. Typo, go left. She's gotta work her way through the weeds. <whistles> Good girl. I'm hoping. He's got such a fucking attitude issue. She'll go in, she'll go in, she'll go in. Nah. <whistles> what is she doing? Bring them hopefully back to me. Nope, they're going out there. Nope, she stopped them. Very good. <laughs> Into your gate, you fucking came out of. Into the gate, please. Oh, there's a spike. Good girl. <laughs> the gate. Go in it. It's right there. I'll back off a little bit, hopefully. Hey, give give some some room to walk up. <laughs> Typo, move in. Good girl. You're being a real fucking bitch. Come on, through the gate. Here we go. Good girl! Good girl, sluggy! Go 
She was literally jumping through that fence about to run down into the abyss. And I caught her by a foot in the fence. Too slow, babe. You gotta be quicker if you're gonna try and outrun me. I've given the shears a bit of a clean, so I'm hoping. They will be good enough for you, my darling. Come here to me. Here's the situation. <laughs> up a bit. I have you looking nice and even, babe. I say that with a bear ass when you got a bear ass. Quite a... This one's not too bad. I need you to come to the back of the car with me. Come back here. Yeah, there we go. Get you spritzed up and you can go on your day. Hop. Off you go. There you go. Straight through the fence. Oh no. She only hit the fence. Not even a bad fence. Any other breed of sheep, it would literally keep them in. Prime lines, they like to stick their heads everywhere they don't belong. I'll just drive around, make sure nothing else in here is fly blind, and we will move on. Ew, ew, ew. Get off. Get off. I think that's a good idea, putting the window up. Alright, as I was. Leave. Leave. Oh! Maybe if I stop feeding Typo, she'll start eating the spiders and I won't have to worry. I think she's gone to sleep. Some of you have come out of the rape paddock and do not belong in here. Very annoying. I've just been checking the main lot of merinos. They look fine. I think they got enough feed. Well, there's, there's a lot of feed. I'm not sure if I wanted to move them or not, but they're half the mobs missing. I assume they've gone ne into the next paddock, which is fine because that's where I would put them anyway. There's no ram with them yet, so that's all good. Dude, fucking hell. You don't even belong over here. Yeah. You, got, you finished? Yeah? You ready for me to help? Nope. You finished? I'm not getting my hands cut over this. Please stop. No, backwards. No, that is not backwards. Yes, just lay down. That makes it very easy. Thank you. Right, that's one leg out. This was a good fence, dude. Why are you... No, 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 no. 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 Thank you. No. Your feet are free. Now I just need you to walk backwards. Backwards. Backwards, backwards, backwards. No, no, no. Come on. Backwards. Put your head backwards. Backwards. Go. Backwards. Backwards. Back. I've almost got you out. You say go backwards, please. There you go, your head. There you go. This was a good fence. No, it's not. Thanks, dude. Please don't go into another fence. Fuck's this part of the farm's normally just for merinos. The fencing's um, built for merinos. We did have a hay bunker in there with sheep fencing, which is, you know, the, the panels. It was in good condition until now. But the merinos are very gentle on fences and they kind of just accept that, oh, this is the fence, can't go through it, um, compared to prime lines who see a fence and see it as a challenge. Here they are here. Hello. 
my prime lines. I just watched one of those ewes there walk up to this fence and jump it like a fucking show pony. Okay, so the ewes are meant to be in there. I wondered why they were in here and I found the reason. There's just nothing want to work today. For fuck's sake. I just flushed those three out of the bush because they looked like they were doing sketchy shit. We've got another job. We're measuring gates. Anyone wants to know what 35 gates look like? Bug, how long is your tail? Come here and let me measure you. So we're going to measure a couple of gates to see which gates will fit in which holes. Slug, get in the car. I don't know if that's an appropriate thing to say when I've got the tape measure about things fitting in holes, but fair enough. Slug, car, now, go. First gateway. Tell me when. It stopped blowing in the wind. That'd be great. 4360. Gate number two and three. I just I just noticed. Fuck's sake. Also thought I might measure the whole thing just in case we don't have gates that size because they're pretty small. 6,800. Okay, Dad's coming along behind me with the gates, so we've got to go find gates that need replacing. Bitches are out again! For fuck's sake. Seriously, woman? Seriously? I literally just put you back in there this morning. Roll the fucking clip. I'm through the gate. Here we go. You're a fucking pest. Okay, so the next gate we are measuring is the one where we've got temporary yards in because the sheep wrecked the gate. Surprise, surprise. It is only a little gap, so I'm not sure how good it's going to be. That'll do. That'll do nicely. There are a couple of gates up here from memory that I've had issues with. I know I do the whole vlog with shit gates. I'm just trying to remember where the fuck they are. That's shocking. <laughs> Not every moment of the vlog can be interesting. Sorry, guys. Fucking hell, it's over 15 feet. Shit. Fucking hell, that's a big gap. I don't think we've got a gate for this gate. Okay, this one here, a quick little measure, just in case. 4,200, very good size. Why are you, what are you doing? Why are you like that? I think you need a moisten. There's a bit of a drop here, so you get to watch from a distance. Forgot the phone. I'm mentally running through all the gates, trying to think of everything, every single complaint about a gate I've ever made. Fucking gateway here. this one replaced because the cows walk straight through it. 43.90. Dangerous. Then this one here is 38.40, which is close to a gate. I think we do have a gate that'll fit that. This one here is a regular gate and it overhangs just a little bit. 
So I'm wondering, will one of these smaller gates fit here better? And uh, it's barbed wire, but I think it's low enough. It's not low enough. 3900 this one is. Thanks for watching. Like or... With fuck's sake, dog. Oh, for fuck's sake. Get in the car. Get in. Get in. Get in. Thank you. Like or typo will leave you behind. There we go. Constant short whistles means like add more flavor, flavor to the bar, to the vibe, because they're not moving. There we go.